Hello everyone, welcome back to Sun Innovative YouTube channel and we are back with a new video on type C chopper which is also known as a two quadrant converter and uh, this is the series videos of the type choppers and uh, you can see we will start with the circuit diagram here you can check this circuit diagram and uh, this is the quadrant operation of circuit diagram type C chopper and this is the bottom side you can see, uh, check the waveform of the type C chopper and uh, let me explain the circuit diagram of type C chopper so you can see the both switches are CH1 and CH2 are the force commutated switch because the box line is indicated the four switches and D1 and freewheeling diode FD is connected anti-parallel with the switch and inductor and one back EMF is also connected as an, and it is considered as a motor load at the output side so this is the load and uh, vs it is a uh, input supply and you can check this is the complementary switch because uh, if we turn on the both switches at the same time so this source is going to source circuited so that's why this switch is also known as a complementary switches so it means that you cannot give the gate pulse to the same both of switch because to avoid the source circuit of the input supply and uh, now have a look on this quadrant operation of uh, type c chopper so you can see here when you're going to operate this CH1 and FD, you can see here if you operate the CH1 switch and the freewheeling diode, so your output converter or output parameters will be in a first quadrant positive voltage and positive current. And uh, if we run the CH2 and D2 diode, you can check the circuit diagram here when I am talking about the short name of the switch and power electronic devices. So I was talking about the CH2 and D2 when we are going to operate this both switches. So your converter output voltage and current will be a negative and output voltage will be a positive. So in, the, in this case both switches have the different functions and uh, when we applied some gate pulse to the differently CH1 and CH2. So output converter will be changed according to the values of voltage and current. So in short we can say that the this type of C chopper can operate in a two quadrants first quadrant and second quadrant. So when we apply the practically motor load to this circuit so it means that your uh, motor will be operated in a forward motoring and forward braking because we have a uh, function to develop the negative current to break the motor effect and uh, here you can check the waveform of uh, this type C chopper you can see this is the gate pulse and uh, you can check the current is goes to the positive and negative values and uh, output voltage remain in a positive in a both condition. So this is all about operations and theory portion of type C. So let us start the simulation. So I have already developed the simulation of type C chopper you can check here and according to the theory diagram you can verify this circuit. So input is a DC supply and two complementary switch S1 and S2 is connected and two diode is here D1 and D2 diode is connected and this is the motor load RLE load which I have connected and this is the arrangement of PWM gate pulse here and this is a scope to observe the output waveform and uh, as I have discussed with you this is the S1 and S2 complementary switch so we have developed one arrangement like this way to develop the negative gain because we need to develop the gate pulse for the complementary it means whenever we are going to apply the gate pulse to the s1 so that time s2 should not be turned on otherwise your input source will be going to source circuited and uh, this midpoint is goes to in between these two switch and this is the connections of type c chopper and uh, in this theory we need to observe that uh, our converter should provide the positive voltage and uh, the current will be goes to the positive and the negatively so it means that we need to state that our converter is operated in a two quadrant first quadrant and second quadrant so i am running the simulation and again providing the infinite value in a simulation time and we will observe the gate pulse or uh, sorry output performance data in a scope one so let me start the simulation here so i am running the simulation so let me open the scope here so you can see here this is the output results and uh, let me explain the result now the first graph shows the converter output voltage and uh, the second graph shows the converter output current okay so let me fix this value first 
now it is clear okay so you can check here values and uh, I am triggering this value to make the constant here so you can check here duty cycle which is a uh, 50 percentage because I have selected one values for this one and uh, here somehow the uh, distorted waveform you can see so let me explain first of all what is the problem with this graph there is no actually problem but this is a property of output voltage so let me explain first so you can see here this is a spikes when we not applying the gate pulse and this is the inductor effect and first of all this portion you can check my mouse cursor highlighted area this is the back emf actually and we are not applying the gate pulse to this period so that time you can see the current is also remaining the zero values you can check the bottom side and when we apply gate pulse at this point you can check this my, my mouse cursor and when we apply the gate pulse so immediately your output voltage is going to rise and your current is also going to rise like this way and once we remove the gate pulse so suddenly your output voltage is going to reduce up to the zero values and again this portion is shows that the back emf of the supply and we can observe the output voltage because uh, this is a motor load so back emf will be there and we have selected the back emf value as a 50 percentage and uh, you can see the current it goes to the positive and negative but uh, your output voltage is remain in a positive magnitude so it is obvious that the uh, output voltage in a positive and uh, current will be in a positive and negative so it means that our converter is operated in a two quadrant first quadrant and the second quadrant and uh, now it is time to change the duty cycle and to observe the waveform so i am running the simulation again and to show you the effect when i am changing the gate pulse duty cycle you can see now i am changing i am increasing the gate pulse duty cycle so you can observe the output voltage and you can also observe the output current of this converter you can see the thickness and the magnitude of both voltage and current is reduces because i am running the maximum duty cycle on this converter and what is the effect when i am reducing the duty cycle so you can see in a graph also so this is the effect of duty cycle when i am reducing so it is almost the 50 percentage you can see the on and off there will be there and uh, the converter output current you can see the positive and negative so i am showing that the if i am reducing the duty cycle of this type c chopper so you can see and you can observe the effect of this uh, the gate pulse so when i am increasing and reducing the gate pulse duty cycle so there we cannot see that the voltage is going to the negative but your current is remaining a positive and negative so it state that positive voltage will be always in a all duty cycle and current will be always in a positive and negative duty cycle so this was the condition and this this is the our aim and we can also say this is the objective of our circuit diagram you can see let me reopen this theory portion again to verify the our output waveform so let me show you this waveform here you can see the output voltage in a bottom line you can check this output voltage and uh, this is the output current you can check here and uh, output current is you can see this is the output current in a positive and negative both side so you can see the positive and negative uh, 5 ampere and minus 5 ampere so this is all about the type c operation simulation and theory so we have concluded that our chopper class c is working on a two quadrant first quadrant and second quadrant so this is the verification through the simulation and uh, hope you guys you understand the theory portion of class c chopper and you can also develop by your own and to observe the different conditions of type c chopper thank you guys thank you very much